we go. Now we're chipping some pipe. Chipping some pipe. There's some music. You know what I mean? This is where it goes down right here. Right now the pipe is coming out wet. Yeah, let me turn this music off before they give me for a uh, co uh, uh, copyright, you know. But uh, we're coming out wet right now. We haven't bumped the slug yet. Uh, due to the slugging tank was clogged up, some like that a hose, but uh, this is tripping pipe wet. So they gotta put a mud bucket on there. It's all hydraulic too, that's another crazy thing. Before it was like all manual. This is all air, you put the air, it's all air. Air hydraulic like. So what's happening, I just pulled up out of it right now. So it's draining all that pipe, it's got all the fluid. I've got a hose, let me see, you see a hose down there. Runs down all the way into a tank. So now I've got the Derek man, he's up. He's 80 feet above in the air right now. And the floor, right now where I'm at, we're about 30 feet up off the air. So that man up there is actually about 110 feet in the sky. And I'll show you what he does right now. Okay, he's standing up there right now, look. He's waiting. All right. See if I can get it here. Hey, Benson, how far we away from getting the slug ready? Uh, is that everything doing right now? Oh, okay. All right, I had to stop recording real quick. That was the company man. He's wondering why we haven't bumped that slug yet, but it's due to a hose that busted down there. Because normally we'd be coming out dry right now, and it's a little faster process because we don't have, we don't have to use that mud bucket. So now uh, we just repeat this until we come out all the way about, uh, I've got 17,000 feet to pull out of the hole. That's where I'm at right now, 17,050. So we're gonna pull out 17,000 feet out of the hole. We're gonna rack it back all up in there. I'll go outside right now so I'll show you where the Derek man is actually at. You know, he's sitting on the top right here. And let me show you where he's at right now. Let me set these slips here. See, they're setting the slips. Those are the slips right there he's setting. I'm trying to set, all right. So he sets them. I set all my weight, get off of it. ST80 comes in. He's going to break it, spin it out, I'm going to pull up, or actually we're going to put that mud bucket because it's wet right now. Then I'll pull up, drain it, and then I'm going to rack it back. And this guy here, he is up there, 80 feet in the air. We just continue to, continue to do this process. Seems like a bull, maybe anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 feet an hour. And then uh, we got what's called BHA. But see, here's the floor. I'm about 30 feet, about 30 feet off the ground, which is the floor here. And then that man is up another 80 feet in the air, so he's about a total of 110 feet off of the ground. That's it, man. This is uh, what you call a tripping pipe. And this right here we'll be doing um, probably the majority of our 12 hours tonight. And this is the main process right here that's uh, physical and actual like work labor. This is what uh, it consists of right here. Other than that, other than tripping when we're drilling, all these guys do is just maintain, cleaning up the rig, you know, scrubbing the, the, the hand rails, organizing the parts house, organizing the conic boxes, organizing the pump parts house, clean up around the shakers. They're basically just cleaning up and organizing all they do, you know, pretty much throughout the, the hits of 14 days. This process we're at right here, we may have to do it like twice a hitch. So out of the 14 days, they actually work probably about three, three days.